we have a boiler, we have a burner. The burner is from here down, the boiler is from here up to here. Uh, the burner, I get into a little more detail. The boiler is basically a pressure vessel, it's a can. It's got tubes running from the bottom to the top. There's actually 800 half-inch copper tools. They're swaged top and bottom to seal the, chamber, the, uh, the internal portion of the boiler. And then there's water filled all around those tubes. So the fire from the burner comes up. That's where all these tubes, rows of tubes are in the game. The fire comes up through those tubes and heats the water inside the boiler and turns it into steam. And it gets up to the top here. That is the smoke and the heat. It comes out through a thing we call the bonnet. The bonnet collects it, sends it out through the flue. The flue takes the exhaust out the back end. So that's basically the way the burner here. The fire is right in here. This is the boiler, and this is the bonnet that takes the exhaust gas off the top of the burner, uh, boiler and takes it goes out. The it is. I don't show it here, but we run that, that pipe. The inlet pipe, the feed water pipe, we call it, through the exhaust vent. So we pick up some of the exhaust heat to preheat the water going into the boiler. It's an economy type thing. But the real economy issue is we take the steam exhaust from the engine and run this, uh, run it into a heat exchanger, basically. And the, the steam exhaust is still hot. And extract heat out of the steam exhaust, the cooling jacket. We do just the opposite. We have insulation around the block so that we don't lose heat. Because, and I'll get to this in a minute. If you lose heat and your steam temperature goes down, it can condense back to water. So you want to keep as much of that residual heat as possible. It goes in over the fire, comes out here as a vapor. It's injected in like two pencil-like jets, and it sucks the air in to these tubes with the fuel. So your fuel-air mixture is going into these tubes. The jet is like an ejector pump. It's like the way your toilet works, you know, the ejector that will suck. And that sucks the air in with the fuel. So your fuel-air mixture